Hi. Hello. <laughs> how are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, really good. Ooh. Last question. <laughs> Suspense. <laughs> what inspired you to become an engineer? Well, I always wanted to um, basically save the planet. So <laughs> I wanted to be part of tackling climate change yeah. um, from day one. And I was pretty good at maths and physics, so it started to seem like a really obvious choice really early for me. Me personally, my dad works as an engineer, so he's worked at Ford for over 20 years now. And I'm more of a practical person, so he thought, yeah, just try it out and see where it goes, and here I am. Oh, amazing. Yeah. What route did you take and what did you study to get where you are today? So I started in sixth form, so I went to an engineering college and there I did engineering and IT and I got a distinction in those and I thought, oh, well, I'm not too bad at this. Electrical engineering just kind of seemed like the future because there were so many prospects that were potentially opening up. So I was in um, school in Ireland, so a different education system. Oh. So we do lots of subjects right up till you're 18. So yeah. I was doing art and English and maths yeah, and everything. So I kind of had all the options in front of me. But I guess for me, engineering ended up being the perfect mix of creativity, yeah. problem solving, and making the most of you know the purpose and everything else. So it worked out really well. What barriers, if any, have you encountered in your career? That's a big one. Oh, that is a big one. But to be honest, I don't feel like I've experienced big barriers per se. Yeah. I've had times in my career when it's felt tougher, mm. times when I felt people were a little bit suspicious of why I got a job, mm. but sometimes that was as much age as anything else. When I speak to girls, I sometimes hear them say their parents don't think it's a good job for them mm. because they're a girl. So I, I, I don't think, it doesn't sound like you or I had parents in that category at no. all, but I feel that <laughs> lots of other girls don't necessarily get the encouragement they need yeah. to go into engineering and that's sad. They have very old fashioned thinking essentially yeah. and yeah it does suck but trying to change it. Oh <laughs> linking from what we were just talking about what do your friends and family think about your career choice? My dad loves it tells everybody he knows oh my daughter's in an apprenticeship in engineering and he he honestly loves it and um, my mum at the beginning was very skeptical about an apprenticeship because she kind of had the mindset of I think you should go to uni, get a degree, move on from there. Um, but she's definitely changed her mind now because she sees what a good apprenticeship it is. Brilliant. Has the reality of being an engineer lived up to your expectations? I'd say it's surpassed them. <laughs> I just wanted to do a job that I was going to enjoy. Yeah. Um, to be so much at the heart of the energy transition and net zero. Um, and to have had so many amazing opportunities and work all over the world and travel. and yeah. I think I'd say the same, even the traveling aspect. I've been to so many places in the UK already that I honestly don't think I ever would have been to if it wasn't for the fact that I'd started this apprenticeship. How do you think being a woman in engineering has shaped your career experience so far? I think the only thing that was slightly different was the amount of males that I had to deal with because it's a male dominated industry. And I went to an all girls school in secondary, so to kind of go from one extreme to the other was quite a lot for me. Once I got here, I'd say it was equal opportunities. Like I wouldn't say that anybody treated me any differently because I was a woman. The, the stats are not great, but you, you, it's not true that there's no women around. I've yeah, always had us. women around. Yeah. And my first job, my boss's boss was a woman and someone asked her that question. And I remember saying like, well, I don't know, because I've never experienced anything other than being a woman in engineering. So how am I supposed to know? <laughs> and, and sometimes I do feel a bit like that, like we'll never know. How is your work changing the industry for the better? We are absolutely at the heart of net zero. It, it's huge um, and there's so much we're doing, but it'll be unrecognisable in 10, 15 years from where we are today. And yeah. that itself is really exciting. What has been the most exciting or rewarding engineering project you've worked on? In my sixth form, we had to make uh, green power racing cars and our cart won. It sounds like a small <laughs> thing, but kind of all the weeks that we spent of putting things together, making sure it all worked and obviously it was green power, it just put an extra cherry on top knowing that it was a majority team of girls who won over the rest of the boys and yeah that was a small <laughs> victory. I mean I've had the opportunity to work on so many awesome projects and um, before I joined Grid I was running offshore wind uh, in the UK oh, and nice. 
that was absolutely incredible, like having gone from coal power stations to gas and then taking all the best of that to a totally new technology to offshore wind and really operationalising what was you know, still quite a new technology, that was um, a real highlight. What has surprised you most about working in engineering or which part of the job did you least expect? I think it has just been the pace at which it's changed. I think one of the brilliant things about recent years is how all the different engineering disciplines are starting to come together. Um, so you start to see kind of cross connections between the engineering disciplines and almost new disciplines yeah. um, emerging out of nanotechnologies and, and everything that's happened, so yeah. I think for me, I would probably say it's the people. I always thought there'd be an air of seriousness about it. <laughs> I'm not really sure why. And I came here and everyone was so open, friendly, like, I laugh 24-7. That's amazing to hear. That's back to that kind of preconception from the outside versus mm. the reality. Yeah. Right? yeah. How did the practical world of engineering compare with the uh, academic side or, or your studying? The practical side of it was definitely a lot more engaging for me. The theory side obviously is still needed because you need the degrees, you need the qualifications, but that's just me personally how it worked for me. Definitely less partying than as a student. <laughs> in Dublin, the height of the Celtic Tiger, <laughs> uh, which is probably a good thing. <laughs> what profession did you want to do as a kid? If I didn't run off to do art, it was always going to be engineering, and yeah. that felt like a tough choice, but mm. there wasn't much else going on for me. <laughs> Photography, for me, to be honest. Yeah, I always enjoyed the cameras. and There was a like lot of similarities between mm. photography and engineering. Yeah. Why do you think you're good at what you do? Uh, what do you think you have that makes you good at what you do? <laughs> I think I'm good at what I do because I enjoy working in a team and I'm in teams constantly, whether, like I said, I'm in training or I'm on site. So I love being able to communicate with other people. I like being able to have laughs with other people, figuring things out together, kind of taking the achievement as a group. I'm always looking for ways to make things better and I love finding ideas from one area and saying like, how can we apply this here? And Bridging the gap, I think, sometimes between really, really deep technical understanding and what it means in the real world. I like doing that kind of translation piece. Um, I think we'd work well in a team because I don't do that. <laughs> so. Has your job influenced how you approach other areas of your life? Oh yeah. <laughs> The most obvious area is health and safety mm. um, because we put it first and foremost in absolutely everything we do. Yeah, yeah. it is for the better, I think, but yeah, yeah, it does bleed into your personal life quite a lot, which is a it good does. thing. It is a good thing. Yeah. yeah, it is a good thing. Makes Except when you're like on a roller coaster and you start wondering about their maintenance That's when strategy you don't and think their about wealth it. inspections. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think about it. Do you have a role model that inspired you? Um, it sounds really corny, but I would honestly say my dad. He was a constant source of strength, even when he had two kids and he had a wife and he had so many projects as well in his personal life that he was dealing with as well. He literally pushed through it all and he's still here now, like strong as ever, still laughing, joking, everything. So yeah, I actually have him to thank for me joining National Grid and being part of the engineering journey. So yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, I always struggle with the role model question because I take so many ideas and inspiration yeah. from everywhere, so it just ends up being a really long list. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could start, we have time. No, it's okay, I'll save you. <laughs> I'll save you that one. When the word innovation is mentioned, who and what comes to mind? I just think of our team, to be honest, because we have to innovate all the time. We need new equipment that doesn't have SF6 in it, which mm. you'll know what SF6 is, mm. but it's really, it's got a really high global warming potential, so we're trying to replace it. Yeah. Um, and that needs a lot of innovative new technology. It hasn't yes. really been done yet. Yeah. Um, so we're trying to lead the way there. And then we've got all these new customers who want to connect data centers, electric vehicle charging, batteries, and they want to connect faster, they want to connect in a different way to the network. And so we're creating digital tools to like, design quick connections and um, think of it in a modular way. Um, so that's a, a whole other area. What is one thing you would tell someone who is looking to pursue a career in engineering? Go for it. Yeah. I was literally <laughs> thinking, just do it. <laughs> literally if you what I thought think of. you're going to enjoy it, you can be certain you will, just do it. Yeah. yeah. I think, yeah, they're missing out on a whole load of experiences if they don't decide to do it. And you won't regret it. It's the one thing that I actually do not think that you will regret, to be honest. No, yeah, completely agree. Yeah. Oh, it's been brilliant meeting you. I've really enjoyed I've our I've really chat. enjoyed meeting <laughs> you, honestly.